So we are now venturing more north of Brisbane. We're heading to New Certain North Shore. We booked a campsite there and we have to get a ferry over to the island because there's not a road getting there. So got a six pack for the couple of days we're there. Already got some cronies in the van ready. Stocking up on food in Woolworths, been to Aldi. So yeah, let's see what this is all about. Looks absolutely beautiful. Some nice beaches here. So yeah, follow along. <laughs> about to start the Noosa Heads coastal walk. Got my 7-Eleven Slurpee, you can get these for $1 on the app. So, so cheap. But yeah, we're starting it now. It takes a couple of hours and there's loads and loads of beautiful lookouts along this walk. It's like a sort of U-shape, so you start at one end, walk like a U, loads of viewpoints, ferry pools on the way, loads of stuff like that, and you come back on yourself. But yeah, starting this now. Noosa looks absolutely beautiful. There's a beautiful beach just here, so stay along for the journey. So we've got Noosa Head's main beach just down here, what I've already walked by. So busy. And then we've got a massive spider. Look at the size of that. That's got to be poisonous, hasn't it? Wow. So you've got a nice little walkway all the way around by the looks of it. The parking is absolutely ridiculous. We had to park like five minutes away from this area. But yeah, get here early if you want to do it. So we're just walking by and this is called Little Cove Beach. Looks really nice that. And there is a walkway here to get down. Where's Ellie? Look. So here is the start of Noosa National Park walk. It's a car park here. If you're not getting up at 6 a.m., just come get a car parking spot. Do not bother, it's absolutely rammed. We come at about 10 a.m. and you're not getting a spot, so do not bother. And this is the start of the trail here. So here's the map. So we're here, obviously, it says there. And we're gonna do all this but when we get to there, how are we going to get back to here? That's going to be a bit rough. Oh well. Yes we are. First stop on the walk, Boiling Pot Lookout. Beautiful views. The rocks down here. Let's carry on. Tea Tree Bay Beach is the next stop. So a little look down here. Oh, that was nice. Loads of surfers again. And you've got loads of rocks. And then you've got a nice little bit of beach just there. People, That'd be nice, might give us a little go when I've done the walk, but I think the other beach up there looks a bit better. So we'll carry on the walk, I want to get to the fairy pools, they look unreal, so that's where we're heading now. Well, I really wish I could see one of these. Let's have a look. Can anyone see one? I definitely can't. So we've now come to Dolphin Point Lookout, which is just down here. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could see some dolphins, eh? Look at that. That'd be beautiful. Down here. Eh? 
There we go. Obviously, go down here, sit down there, have a chill, chill out. And then, walk around this way. Ellie's very tired carrying the bag for me, well done. No dolphins there today. So let's carry on the walk. Next up there is a another beach. Chronic Bay. Oh, I'm not going down there. So obviously by the name it's probably just loads of granite rocks that maybe you'll sit on. Over here or down here, whatever. Beautiful though. Well, you come to the path now, and there's no canopy in the way. Yeah, if you, I reckon if Ellie swims to him now down there, he'll give her a ride on that. So now we've got a long walk down here. Ellie's already started. So let's go. Here it is. You're thin, babe. You're in. You discussed it. Bye. Eh. Drop up. Hey. Alright. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was refreshing. Loads of people in there now. Watch out though, because apparently someone got bit by a crab. So that's why I got out. I hate crabs. I don't want to get bit by one of them, but yeah, lovely. So this is the tip of the walk, and it's called Hell's Gates. And I think they're just here. There they are. Walk further around. That's the coolest shower you'll see. An old surfboard. So, on the other video where it ended, we ended here. And now we've drove around and we're gonna start here and do these little ones. Because walking along this way was pointless. And we had to walk all the way back for no reason. So, yeah, this side. These steps are an absolute killer in this heat. But look at the views. What? This is Sunshine Coast. Sunshine Beach Lookout. 
Right, let's look at this then. That's nice. Look at that. That's lovely. And then we've got this look. Fun. In there. Oh, that's sick, that Ellie. Have you seen this? Ellie. So it's too hot for me to carry on. I'm absolutely dripping. Been walking all day. We've got Ali's Cove, Devil's Kitchen, and Lion's Rock. And it's all just like shitty path now. I've got to walk all the way down on ourselves, so I'm not doing that. We can see it beautifully from here. So yeah, that is it for now. So that was Noosa National Park Coastal Walk, done and dusted. We're heading to Noosa Heads now, because we're staying on a campsite there. So that's what the rest of this video will be about, Noosa Heads and a little bit more exploring in Noosa. So yeah, this was definitely worth a go. Definitely worth a try and a visit this. Because it's beautiful views. It's just so hard on a hot day like today. Here we go. Getting on the ferry. Oh, it's a tight one. We've only got one shop on the island and it's an absolute rip-off so make sure if you come on the island in a camper van or car weather you stock up on food. We've just had to pay five dollars for a bottle of water and I didn't even look at the price of chocolate or snacks so I would not bother going in there. It is a rip-off. So we've checked in and this is our pitch. Set the awning up for some shade, plugged into the power, the sea is literally there on the beach. So yeah, this is where we are for a couple of days. Beautiful, absolutely boiling. Look at that, it's like a rainbow on the sun there. So we're all set up, got my hand open because it's absolutely boiling, it's like 38 degrees here. Scrambled egg time, toast, cannot go wrong. So in my scrambled egg I do creme fraiche and chives. That is all you need. There we go. Beautiful scrambled egg. With the beer. Hear the sea and the waves. Beautiful. This place is absolutely boiling. I'm dripping wet through. I've seen some showers here, some cold outdoor showers. So I'm going to jump in them. There's nothing else you can possibly do. I don't think there's any lifeguards on this beach. So you can probably only just paddle. You can't swim in there. About them, you know where all the rip currents and stuff are. So this is where I'm off. This is the saviour, the outdoor shower. And I'm just walking onto the beach now. It's literally situated right on the beach, hence the name. So have a look at this. Literally walk two minutes from where our camper van is parked and you get these beautiful views. You can even see people surfing there now. The sand looks unbelievable. Here we go, look at that sand. Oh, beautiful.
were just there surfing. Lovely sand. Let's go have a feel of the temperature water. Temperature water? The water temperature. Lovely sea though. Wait for it to come up here. Oh, that's actually quite warm. Here it comes. Coming in fast. That's lovely. So this is the size of the site from this angle, our van is just there, you've got all that, as you've seen in the last video, you've got kangaroos running around, spin camera, you've got the ocean just there, and then just walking to the shower blocks down this road, I'll show you the showers when I get there. The unisex toilet and shower there, and the male is in here, female is just to the left. There is the bathroom. Obviously, sinks here. It's really clean. Toilets, three toilets, and then we've got four showers. You don't have to pay, they're just old machines. How to spin in this one, have a nice shower. Really clean, really nice. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend this campsite so far. You need weekends like this, even when you're traveling. It's just nice to sit back, relax recoup you know get all your energy back together so you can carry on traveling so even when you're at home weekends like this are still definitely needed i'd say at least once a month get away for the weekend go to a campsite chill out relax kick back have some beers have some nice food even not, not even a campsite just go anywhere go to like a log cabin whoa this guy's interrupting me i do not like kangaroos this campsite wants to fight Oh my god, I shot myself. Oh wow. <laughs> Go for a weekend away, relax, chill out, do whatever, in the city, by the coast, do whatever, even back in England. But yeah, wow, I shot myself then. I've seen too many videos online of kangaroos having a fight with humans. Wow. Well, it turns out they just want to sit and munch on the grass. They don't want to fight. There they are, look. All three of them. Pretty cool little things. I do like kangaroos, I'm just scared of them. They're not scared at all when you go close to them. These little ones. Look at that. Just enjoying that grass. Now we're going on the Mount Tinbira. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Walk. It's like 750 meters away from the car park. So, van is parked there. And this is what the road looks like there. I didn't mean to say the road, the path.
So I've got to this point. Nice little seat there. Not made out of stones. It looks like it's just going to be all stone for the rest of the way. So that's not too bad. At least there's a path going here. Really nice to be honest. See if we're getting higher now, look. It's starting to look nice already. Let's carry on. So as we're getting higher, we're getting these. And it's starting to rain. Oh well, we'll carry on. It's chucking down. Oh God. Really raining now. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Well, here we are. Nobody else here. Well, that's nice. Look at that. Pretty foggy. I think that's news to North Shore. Let's look at this side. There we go. Beautiful. Look at the views. Wow. I think that's the mountain there. I have no idea. Got this little uh, lookout point. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is why I come to the lookouts. Look at that. Oh, forests. So windy, but it's lovely. There you have it. It literally takes five minutes from the car, and you've got a nice little viewing platform. So, yeah, if you come to Noosa, Come to this lookout really really nice so i hope you enjoyed this video that was uh sunshine coast noosa area the campsite we stayed on and all the other activities we did are linked in the description so if you haven't already looked there take a look in the description and check these places out if you enjoyed these places when you do visit them let me know in the description and let me know if you enjoyed the video if you haven't already please give me a subscribe it really really helps me grow my channel and also keep posted on some more australian videos that I will be posting in the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much.